Hey guys, welcome back to another week with me. So for this week, we're going to actually be talking about the news of the weird. Um, so what the news of the weird is, is there's an actual website you can go on called News of the Weird. Um, and they basically search for all of the stories that have actually happened that are just really out there. Um, maybe not the run of the mill kind of thing that we hear on our local news here. Um, so this one is just for fun. I hope that you guys enjoy some of the news stories that I found. All right, so our first one is called Entrepreneurial Spirit, okay? So it says, Good Fortune Burger in Toronto has renamed some of its menu items as office supplies, okay? So all of their food items are named after office supplies. Um, as a not-so-underhanded way to help customers get reimbursed for their lunch. The National Post reports the, um, the strategy is actually boost sales and the restaurant's fortune burger is now the basic steel stapler and their Parmesan fries appear on your receipt as a CPU wireless mouse. Um, so the director of the operation, his name is John Purdy, um, and he said that they just wanted an opportunity to put a smile on some people's faces um, and give people a little bit of a giggle. Um, so can you imagine going in and wanting a burger and saying you want just the plain steel stapler? So I'm not sure how many people are actually trying to write these items off as tax breaks, but I suppose we'll see. Okay, the next article is called Inexplicable. A motorist in Florida stopped to investigate the screaming she heard on March 23rd. She found a woman trapped in a storm drain eight feet below the street level. So think about it. If a man is seven foot tall, that's a pretty tall man. So add on another foot, right? So eight feet down, she hears this lady just yelling. So first responders actually pulled the unnamed 43-year-old woman to safety and they took her to the hospital. So investi investigators came, right? And they're like thinking, how did this girl get down here? What's her story? What's going on, right? So the woman told officers that she had been swimming in the canal when she noticed a door leading to a tunnel. So get this, three weeks earlier, her boyfriend actually reported her missing. Hadn't heard from her, hadn't seen her, put out a missing persons report. So this lady, she ends up being found eight feet below street level, right? And this is what she said. So she says that she found this tunnel um, and she went in. So she kind of wandered around the tunnel and became lost. She said she wandered for weeks in the tunnel system, surviving on a bottle of ginger ale that she found in the sewer. Um, so Ted White, who is a spokesman for their police department, he was skeptical. Was she actually down there the whole time? So health officials think that she was only down there for a few days, but it kind of begs the question, how did she survive for three weeks and only on a small bit of ginger ale? I think she may have had some confusion. Okay, my next story is called um, The Devil in the Details, right? So you, whenever you sign something or anything like that, people will tell you, make sure you read the fine print, right? Okay, so an unnamed teenager in Thailand was excited. Um, he was looking for a new phone online. He wanted to get the new Apple phone, right? So he saw it for a really cheap price and he got super excited. He thought, geez, this item is really cheap. I can't believe it. Um, he noticed that the shipping was kind of high, but he didn't think anything of it. So he ordered this phone, right? So he was very surprised um, when he received a box almost as tall and wide as he was. So when he actually opened up the box, it was a coffee table in the shape of an iPhone. <laughs> It says he posted pictures on his social media and admitted he had been so anxious to snag the good bargain, he didn't even read the listing carefully. So he thought he had a phone, but really he purchased a table. So I also actually have a similar story to this. Um, someone I know um, bought something off of a website called Wish, and she was looking for a computer chair, so she bought a small, um, just a plastic chair, something that would fit at her little desk. And by the time that she ordered it um, and got it home, um, it was actually Barbie size, which was kind of interesting, so. Okay, this next one is called Crime Report. 
So Sharon Carr of Oklahoma was arrested by officers who responded to a residential burglary burger call on February 26th. Um, she stepped from the shadows out in front of the victim's house, right? So officers got a call. They said somebody broke in and all of a sudden somebody steps out of the shadow on the homeowner's property, right? So investigators found a window screen was removed and the window was left open where they allege car entered the home but quickly left, leaving behind an empty Cheeto bag and a water bottle. So they broke in and for whatever reason, they snacked on Cheetos and water and left their trash there. So it says Cheeto residue on car's teeth linked her to the crime along with the testimony from the victim. She was charged with first degree burglary. As you can tell, I kind of struggled to pronounce that word. I apologize. How would you feel <laughs> to know you got caught because you had Cheetos on your teeth? <laughs> okay, so I have one more kind of silly story for you guys. This is called Inexplicable. Natasha of Alabama called her sheriff's apartment on February 28th after her granddaughter's pet goat, get this, named Billy the Kid, returned home from one of his frequent adventures around their rural neighborhood. So when he got back, he was painted from head to toe, right? So she's thinking that it must have been some local teenagers. They must have took the goat and were doing things to this goat and it made her upset. So um, the investigators followed the goat's trail, right? So they tried to follow like this color from to figure out where this... Um, goat actually came from. They actually traced it back to a neighbor. So there was actually a woman visiting her family and she decided that she would um, dye this goat with shampoo, colored shampoo and food coloring. Um, so they actually did end up arresting her for theft of property and animal cruelty. Um, but Harris, the owner of the goat, she actually dropped the, the charges and told the police she's really sorry for wasting their time. So thanks so much for joining me for this video again today. I hope that you enjoyed that one. Um, as always, give this video a like if you enjoyed. And we're always looking for comments of other videos that you guys may enjoy. And until next time.